Okay, so we yeah, there's Park today. The Lions are playing the Bulls. It's going to be an interesting game. I don't think the Bulls are very much favourites. The Lions came back from their tour, uh, yeah, unbeaten. So I think the Bulls are really underdogs, especially with what, everything that's going on at, at Loftus at the moment. Um, I reckon uh, it's going to take a big effort from them if they're going to win today. But let's see. Let's see. This is all. We'll be showing you some of the stuff behind the scenes, what's happening around here, and just uh, yeah, what exactly happens in a day like mine. So we are doing a for Raw. This is kind of a chance to win one of our Hyson's products and it's um, trying to donate money to the right things. going to have to be the Lions. Uh, they're playing just uh, their, their rugby is too good. Uh, Bulls are in a tough spot. Um, can't see anybody else but the Lions winning this one. Uh, so it's going to be cold, yeah. It's always cold here this time of night. Eh? Very cold, eh? and people don't realise it, but uh, it does get very chilly once the sun goes down. Unfortunately, we've got a few heaters above us here. Fans also don't know that, so that's a good thing at least. Cool. Let's watch again. Cheers. Brandon, I'm seeing you again. Yeah. Yeah, half time, you know. 
you see I'm smiling and you wonder why. <laughs> but uh, it's, this Lions team, it's something else, really. Uh, they're on the 29, 12 is certainly out of the window, isn't it? No, I don't think so. I mean, this is just sensational from the Lions. I haven't seen them play like this in, in a long time. They've been good at times this year. They were good last year. But then this first 40 minutes was just unbelievable rugby. I reckon the finalists hashtags are already out there. Probably, probably. And there are a couple of Bulls uh, players that can also maybe think about uh, their performances so far this season, and particularly this evening. They've, uh, they've really got lost in this game. And, uh, we're going to have to look at their own performances as well. Let's hope it's a, a better second half of the Bulls. Let's hope so. <laughs> but let's enjoy what the Lions are producing. Yeah, they're, they're brilliant. Absolutely. Cheers. Yeah, obviously uh, for 20 minutes we've made mistakes and they punished us. You know, every time they get the ball they scored seven points and uh, you just showed how good side they are. Uh, ball in hand and they, like all the New Zealand teams as well, if you make mistakes against them, they, will, they punish you and they play really well. Yes, um, I think the, we have to credit the players for, you know, we challenge them in the week for, you know, lifting the intensity and, you know, we back at home. And, um, just quality rugby and, and it was probably one of our best 40 minutes, that first 40 minutes. Obviously second half we can debate and not happy with the second half but um, some of the individual <coughs> touches but well as the team was, was, was quite good. So very pleased um, with the game but especially that first half. That's it, that's the day to this park. What a great game, really good game for the Lions. Certainly the intensity in the first half. Second half, a couple of things to work on, but the Bulls, uh, I'm afraid, crisis at Loftus is not going away. Nolis Murray sounded very defeated tonight. Uh, really looked like a man who's almost out of a job. I hope that's not the case for him. He's a great coach, nice guy. Maybe deserves a little bit more support from his union. Maybe structures need to be better. But saying that, tough night of the office for you if you're losing coach. It's always the case, it's never nice to see, but rugby unfortunately moves on. So, um, yeah. Um.